just had cereals and uh, watching the third episode of McMafia. Your new meter to count, Thames Water. Oh boy. Thank you for choosing to make the switch to a meter charge. This puts you in direct control of your water charges. Okay. Hello, it's Friday and this is the second attempt at exporting the night. I'm trying to think what day the night was. Tuesday, Tuesday's video what happened was I was <laughs> I knew I'd regret it but I had to do it to feel like I regretted it what am I talking about? I'm talking about the video editor I un uninstalled HitFilm and thought I'd give uh, Lightworks another go must be the third or fourth time I keep giving Lightworks a chance but it's a basic editor it's very fast at exporting I've said all this before the composition side is very weak or very complicated it uses a, a routine system like a, a mind map we do a flow of parameters it's quite complicated but it falls down terribly like all the other editors nearly every single editor apart from HitFilm when it comes to certain clips with different FPS frames per second you know the old chestnut where a single clip could have more than one frame per second rate and although you can play it on the smartphone or and you can download it to the laptop and play it on that it's fine there's no issues but when you bring it into an editor and it seems to, it likes to split the sound from the video so you've got two tracks that you can edit um, alternatively and because of that I mean it's more to it than that it can't play it can't play like a player having said that it could be because the laptop I've got is not that powerful and not all laptops can uh, use video editors anyway so I've had to get my toes burnt again by 
installing Lightworks and try and edit a 50 minute <laughs> video on it where a single clip could be 20 minutes long can you imagine how many f frames per seconds there could be in that one clip and of course I try to cut that clip into smaller clips and then slip in the footage the video or the sound so it the voice the lips the, the lip sync is accurate when I tried it I exported it it was pretty quick it took about an hour to export and which is really quick for Lightworks or yeah for Lightworks or any other editor and after exported from Lightworks I played it and it was very jumpy like it was shoot, uh, going at 24 frames per second like this you know like an old-fashioned movie and it just wasn't good enough so what I decided to do straight away straight afterwards was to uninstall Lightworks and reinstall car went by and reinstall hit film and suddenly I found my groove again but that 20 minute clip was just mad I got to bed quite late last night it must have been half past four so and here I am now at 20 past two exporting for the second time but this time from HitFilm and I hit the export button at 8 minutes past 2 and it's been going for 11 minutes and it's got 2 hours remaining because HitFilm is quite a heavy program because of the composite com composition software it has as well it's not just an editor it's a compositor which means you can do special effects you can do Star Wars type effects on this even though it's the free version of hit film the express version and although it's taken an hour more than before it's uh, much more user friendly in my case so hopefully if it's two o'clock now and it takes two hours what well, the time now is 20 past two in fact because 12 minutes has elapsed so we're looking at around half past four for it to be uploaded to Facebook so it should be ready for five o'clock on YouTube so today I've had cereals put the trash out usual routine and I saw the third episode of Muck Mafia which is really good can't help thinking that it's the same people who did the night manager a few years ago there was even a scene I don't know where it was in Sardinia or Sicily um, they come up when they're in this beautiful uh, seaside um, they're at this really lovely hotel right on the seafront practically I think it overlooks the sea and, I'm, and I saw uh, like a 
an outdoor dining table and I thought I'm sure that was in the night manager anyway just a bit of trivia but James Norton who's in this Mac Mafia like Tom Huddleston Hiddleston who was in night manager they're both it seems to be like a an audition for them to be the next James Bond which is fine because uh, you look at James Norton and you think yeah he's all he's quite muscular and young enough to to uh, pass it off as a uh, as 007 so it's just a case of the car going by it's a case of watch this space I think this um, I think the current James Bond film that's in P production or whatever. I think it's in P production because you haven't heard, you haven't seen any uh, stills from on set of Daniel Craig as Bond. Will be Craig's last James Bond for sure. Unless they give him ridiculous shed loads of money. I think he's getting 160 million for this one. Could be more for all I know. So if they pump it up to 250 mil, it'd be hard for him to refuse. But then again, you'll be. He'll be in his 50s. He must be in his 50s now. I think he's very close to being 50. I think he's going to be 50 in, Mar in March. Yeah, so he's probably got. I mean, you can do bond up to your. I don't know, his fifties. Roger Moore did it up to his age, till he was fifty-five. But he looked it, didn't he? Whew. So anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about James Bond for. Yeah, so. That's what's happening today on a Friday. Friday night, takeout night? No, I don't think so. Just not in the mood, not in this weather. Oh, uh, there's a credit control job going in. Where was it now? Maidavelle? So uh, it looks quite like a luxurious building and uh, somebody sent me an email, would I be interested and if I was, could I send them my CV? So I did, but I, I haven't heard back yet. Now, I've got lots of things building up on the TiVo, on the Virgin Media such as University Challenge, Only Connect, two more Denzel Washington films, a Herbert Loam film, a Stanley Baker film. Uh, I've got Groundhog Day to watch. I've seen it before, but it, it came on on, uh, when was it? End of December. Recorded Mad Max, but I don't know if uh, I'll watch it. It was just a spur of the moment thing. I'm up to date with the dramas. I've seen Kiri. I've, I'm up to date with Mc, Mc, McMafia. I could binge watch the rest of. Oh, what's it called? Sun. Hard Sun. But no, I need. To, I'd, I'd rather watch them in uh, in line with the terrestrial scheduling. I've got a few hours to watch. I'm sure. Oh yeah, I've still got to watch the um, 
John Crawford and Betty Davis biopic. I think there's two more episodes of that to watch. So I'm looking forward to that. It's funny how building up to Christmas in the new year you you like to watch all these programs but in the new year it's like a, a clean sheet you don't want to watch many programs you're really reluctant to watch them I suppose it's a, a seasonal thing maybe I don't know Sixteen percent of the video has been exported. One hour fifty six minutes remains. I think I'll catch up on the TiVo while this is exporting. You can see my glasses. Hello, hello, now you see me. Now you don't. Just watching Groundhog Day. It's not really dark. I mean, it's dark, but not too dark, really. If this was a photograph, you could see me. But the video. Hmm. shame. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching uh, Groundhog Day while the video exports. We're at 82% and there's 23 minutes left and it's 5 to 4 in the evening. Alright, that's just a little quick update. Oh, there's the uh, laptop in the background. Tuesday's video is now up and it's a white mess really with the lip sync and the way it was imported into Lightworks I think at 24 frames per second and then an output at 29.97 just it was just really bad quality but I tried to uh, rescue it and uh, played it back after the upload and it was pretty bad so apologies about that another reason why I should stick to one editor of choice of ne necessity So, um, I'm going to start editing Wednesday's video now using Hitfill. <laughs> the time now is. Oh. Just gone 10 to 8. I've just stopped editing because I'm going to make myself a sandwich now and a coffee and some crisps look at this a cheese toasty doesn't that look delicious <laughs> 